My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Glamma. Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. Hi everyone, Glamo here. Welcome back to Made with Love by Glamo, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love. Today we're going to be making a pretty super easy crochet ring. This crochet ring. And I'm going to show you how I made this one, but I'm but for the actual tutorial, I'm going to use a smaller size hook in case you don't want a ring that big. But this is pretty fashionable right now to have big rings on and to wear them either on your middle finger or your index finger. So this is what we're going to be making today. So if you like this, stay tuned. I'll let you know what you need for this tutorial. Two different colors of crochet thread, either number three or number 10 crochet thread, a 2.0 millimeter hook if you want a smaller flower, a 2.50 millimeter crochet hook if you want a bigger flower like this one, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna get started with the 2.50 millimeter crochet hook because I wanna make um, this part of the ring with this size um, of crochet hook. Um, this is a number three thread, so it's a little bit thicker than number 10, so I'm gonna use the 2.5 millimeter hook. And we're gonna get started with a slip knot. Just leave yourself a tiny bit of a tail. Maybe we can try to incorporate that with our work here in a minute. And for my size ring, or for my size finger, this fits this, this finger, this finger, and it fits my ring finger. Um, I chained 16. If you have a, and I have about a size 5 ring size, um, if you have a bigger finger then just make the chain and keep measuring it around your finger until it fits you. If you're making it for a little girl then just keep measuring the chain around the person that you're making it for. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to make 16 chains. And 16. Okay, now I'm going to make half double crochets all down the chain. And we're going to start with the second chain from the hook. Right there. Pull up a loop so now you have three. Go through all three. And just repeat that all the way down to the end of the chain. So this is what it's looking like. Okay, so continue that way till you get to the end. Now about midway through I started incorporating that initial tail that we made the slip knot with. Um, so I'm incorporating it. I just kind of brought the tail this way and started incorporating it. And here in a minute we'll trim it. So I'm almost finished. I'm almost at the end of the row with my half double crochets. Here's my very last chain. Okay. And now chain one. And now tug on this little tail right there if you're incorporating it. See how nice and incorporated? Now we don't have to um, try to weave it in or anything. Clip it right there because it's nicely incorporated now. Okay, so now that we did that chain one at the end, we're gonna leave a bit of a tail so that we can sew our band together. Okay, pull that through and snug that down and then just go ahead and thread your tapestry needle and we're going to close that up. Okay, so I've got my tapestry needle threaded and uh, this is the right side and this is the wrong side so I'm going to fold it like this and I'm just going to start um, sewing it together. Uh oh, I think my daughter's off from work, so I might have to uh, go and get her. So I'll continue this tutorial when I get back. 
Meanwhile, just close up your ring like this. Okay, so just do that till you're satisfied. Okay. I'm going to make one more knot. And then I am happy with that. Okay. Now get your scissors and trim that down. And there you go. There is your band and we're going to sew our flower on top of that. So yeah, that fits nice. I'll be back and I'm going to go get my daughter and then I will continue this tutorial and show you how to crochet the flower. Alright, have fun. Okay, so I'm back. I went and got my daughter and went to the post office and if any of y'all saw my little Where Glamour Grew Up video, you'll know where I went. I took y'all to the post office the day that I ran errands. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to my 2.0 millimeter hook and I'm going to use my number 10 pink crochet thread and I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail and I'll incorporate that as we um, crochet our flower. Let's just start off with a slip knot. And I know you can hear my kitty hashtag crying, but that's because I had to put her in the bathroom because if not, she tries grabbing all my crochet thread all the time and uh, messes up my tutorials by grabbing all my stuff. <laughs> Let's get started with chaining four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and now we're gonna join that ring by slipping our hook into the very first chain that we made and making a slip stitch. Let's chain three. One, two, and three. And that's going to count like a double crochet. And now we're going to yarn over and we're going to try to incorporate this little tail as we go along. And we're going to put 11 double crochets into that ring, okay? So there's one, let's make 10 more. Okay, so continue that way until you've made 11 double crochets and then that chain is going to count as our 12th one. Okay, so I have my 11 double crochets and there's the chain 3 as well that we started with. So I'm going to count up 3 chains, 1, 2, 3 and right into that top of that third chain I'm going to slip stitch it, slip stitch this work closed. And now I'm going to chain one and that same space that I just slip stitched into, I am now going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, go right back into there. Now yarn over and in that same space, I'm going to make two double crochets. I know y'all are probably having a hard time seeing this because it's such small thread, but I'm trying to hold my hands up as close to the camera as I can. So there's one. And there's my second double crochet. And now I'm going to yarn over twice because I'm going to make three triple, I mean two triple crochets into that same space. One. And here's my second one. Okay, and now, so we see we've kind of gone up and now we're gonna go back down and make two double crochets into that same space. There's one. Here's the second one. Okay. And now we're going to make a half double crochet. 
go through all three loops and then we're going to chain one. Okay, so that's the end of that petal. And so now we are going to skip the next stitch and go into the next one. And we're going to slip stitch that. Okay, and we're going to chain one and we're going to repeat this petal. We're going to make a half double crochet. Two double crochets. A triple crochet. Another triple crochet. And now two double crochets. And now a half double crochet. And now we're going to chain and we're done with that petal and we're going to repeat this all the way around. You're going to skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the next one and then make another petal. Um, if you have to rewind and uh, so that you can remember how to do the petal. So we're going to make a petal in every other stitch all the way till we get to the end. So there should be six petals at the end. Okay, I'll meet you back at the end. And now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to slip stitch right back over here where I started. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to leave myself quite a bit of a tail because this is where I'm going to, uh, um, this is what I'm going to use to sew the pearl on with and to sew the flower onto my band here. Okay, so now just pull that through and snug that down. Okay, uh-oh, Kitty woke up. <laughs> Kitty had fallen asleep, now it woke up. I already threaded my tapestry needle, and I'm just going to weave it in and out through here till I get to the center. Don't pull on it too, too tight. And now I'm going to thread the pearl. And you could put three pearls or one pearl. Maybe I'll try three this time. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'll be back. Okay, so here's another one. And a third one. Pull that down. And let's see what we've got here. Okay, so there's my three beads threaded. And I'm going to pull it down around to here and see what we have going on here. Things always change in Glamour's tutorials, don't they? Okay, so there's that. And so now what I'm going to do is I am going to sew these beads down, okay? So I'm just going to come up through here And down through here. So I'm going to go between all the beads is what I'm doing. Okay. Now I'm going to come up around this bead. Okay. There. Yay. Alright. And then I am going to take this off. And I'm going to sew my flower onto right there where we joined. Okay. So let's just grab this and just sew it on. All right, guys? So I will see you back when you've got your flower sewn on. Okay, so I've secured it quite a bit, so I think I'm done. And I'm going to make sure to end it over here near the petal so that I can weave it in and out. Okay. Just 
nip that off and you're finished and voila here's your gorgeous little ring isn't that just adorable okay so there's what this one looks like yay I love it so there's this style and then there's that style yay I like it I like it a lot all right guys so let me know what you think of this tutorial and uh, don't forget to send me pictures if you end up making this for yourself for your daughter or for whoever you're making it for let me know how they liked it and send me pictures because I love looking at pictures you can either send them to my Facebook group page um, ladies and gents show and tell happy hour or you can send it to my other Facebook group page at um, Glamas All Crafts Show and Tell Circle. Alrighty guys, alright, I love you and I hope you enjoyed this. Talk to y'all later, bye. Mwah. Don't forget that I love you, don't forget to love yourselves, and don't forget to love everyone you come in contact with. Bye! Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching, watching our Glamour's channel. channel.